Hey YouTube, it's your boy, Super Scooter Guy, coming at you with another Moto Vlog. And today I want to chat with you about, this is year, or well, riding season number four, on my 2013 Kimco Exciting 500R i ABS model. I thoroughly love this bike. Um, I bought it back in September 2013. Um, I rode it for two years in Hamden and New Haven, Connecticut. And then I moved up to Massachusetts, up to Salem, which city. And this is my second year up here. Um, so again, this is, I had a, like a, an abbreviated riding season when I first bought the bike. And then three like full, well no, two full riding seasons. And this is like the third, the beginning of the third full riding season. So what I want to talk about today is just how the bike is doing, um, how it's riding after all this time. Um, you know, am I interested in eventually getting another bike? Things like that. So um, again, this can go exciting. This is my first ever bike. Um, I did my test in Connecticut. It was a um, motorcycle, a weekend motorcycle class, the MSF course. And I, actually I took it twice. The first time I took it on a Honda Shadow. Um, I'm sorry, a Honda Rebel. And um, I never had the intention of having just a regular motorcycle. I always had the intention of getting a scooter, uh, particularly a larger scooter that would still allow me to go at highway speeds. Um, but I always wanted kind of the automatic transmission, um, kind of how to use that in Europe and Asia. I wanted a lot of space, which maxi scooters afford you. And um, I knew the motorcycle wasn't really kind of the route for me anyway. So the first time I took it, I initially asked for a scooter to take it on. And for some reason, they didn't get it right. And I ended up taking it on a Honda Rebel. Um, I did pretty well, but then I got to a point where I messed up one of the gearing and busted my ass. And they actually didn't fail me. I actually just was like, uh, I don't know. After I fell, I kind of lost the confidence to finish the, the day. And, um, you know, decided to call it a day. Um, a few months later, I was like, you know what? I really, really, really want to ride. And I want to ride what I wanted to ride anyway. And I was adamant about taking it on a scooter. And the second time, they got it right and got me up on a Yamaha Zuma 125 porch through it, pass the test lovely with the bike or a type of bike I was interested in anyway. And um, the rest is history. Got my endorsement and went out and got a bike. So I always knew that the 125 was definitely too small, um, wasn't gonna go up to higher speeds and I would have wanted to at least kind of keep up with traffic at the minimum on major roads, but also to potentially get on the highway. So. Upon researching, 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 maxi scooters, um, of course the Bergman is the pretty, pretty much the standard uh, at both 400 and 650. Um, but the Bergman is a bit out of the price range that I would have liked. So stumbled across the, the Kimco Exciting. Um, I knew Kimco was very big in the scooter game. So definitely doing my research, the reliability. They have, in my opinion, the best value um bang for the buck bike out there so i took a gamble on the taiwanese kimco and still today i'm out here pushing it so um again i love the bike it's never let me down um the one maybe major gripe i would say against the kimco exciting is that the stock battery i would say is a little too weak for the bike and it really shows in colder weather, like when you get down in the 30s and 40s, sometimes you have a hard time turning it over. Um, so that's what I actually went out and switched to a lithium ion battery, um, actually lithium polymer. And um, what it allows me to do is, oftentimes people say those are bad in cold weather. I tend to disagree. It actually takes 
a little bit of time for them to warm up so if you just turn it on for like 30 seconds or so it's pretty much going to turn right over so the good thing about lithium is that the cold cranking amps don't die where in a regular a lead acid battery you know if you keep trying to crank it over those crankings it's not going to have enough power to turn over so once I got that lithium polymer, it was over. The bike was perfect. Um, now, it's not, it doesn't have all the creature comforts of the Bergman. Like, you know, the heated grips and, and all of that. But, again, value for money at 500 cc's. It gets me where I need to go. Gets me there as fast as I need to go. The most I've ever personally had it up to was 85. Um, it will definitely go a little bit higher. Um... I'm not the smallest guy in the world, so, you know, with uh, over 250 pounds of weight on it, you know, weighs it down a bit, but, um, you know, again, it gets me where I need to go. Um, and at 250, you know, being on a 50cc, I'd probably be doing 25, 30 at max, so that's why I also felt like I needed a bigger bike. Um, so again, after, you know, three years-ish, well, technically two full, and two sort of <laughs> years um it definitely has gotten me from point a to point b very reliably um for the negatives and this is not the fault of the bike this is actually the fault of the wind it has gone down twice um and that's literally by having a cover over it and then the wind getting pulled underneath and pulling the bike down um so it's gone down twice uh no glass broken no plastics broken um a little bit of a dent on the muffler cover but other than that definitely still rideable always passes inspection no problems um so again the kimco exciting has done what i've needed to do and it's gotten me where i needed to go it's a great bike if folks are interested in kind of getting them a maxi scooter or maybe looking a little bit away from the bergman um BMW has their 650 out, which I think is gorgeous, um, and that might be a potential new bike eventually, but not right now. Um, I think I still have a maybe a couple of years on the Kimco. It's actually fully paid off at this point. Um, I actually paid it off last year. Um, I only paid $5,800 for it, um, brand new off the lot, um, no interest, so you know it's it's done it's, it's done its job i have this nice little windscreen which is awesome it blocks the wind and extends my riding season a bit and um you know my riding season this even this year it lasted all the way to december and uh i'm just out there so the kimco gives good wind protection it gives good value for the money and it's a great bike to have so that's my ride in a nutshell just an update on both where I've been and how this ride has been awesome to me. So that's my live vlog for the day. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Deuces.